AI is taking over the world. You've heard of ChatGBT, right? And OpenAI and now the new Sora AI, which that thing is bonkers, by the way. It's absolutely insane. People are fearing for their jobs because of AI. And they're freaking out because AI looks like it's literally taking over the world. But where does that leave the video game industry? Where does AI leave that? Could there be a future where video games are made by AI? Could we see that future? Like tomorrow, maybe? Because these AAA video game studios are... They're just bad. And I'm not saying just a little AI, okay? I'm not saying just a little sprinkle of AI on my game to change the dynamic difficulty or something. Because actually, uh, I'm good at games, you know? Sometimes. I'm talking about a fully fledged out AI game, okay? 100% certified AI. Like the developers literally just go to ChatGPT and type in, make me a game. And then GBT is just like, bet. And there it is. It's like baking a cake, except you don't have to measure anything or mix. You just, you just take all the ingredients and throw it into an oven and out comes a fresh new game. And to test that out, I did just that. But before I can go any further, I had to answer some really important questions that ChatGPT had for me. Like the genre, the platform, theme, and story. We'll just go with a puzzle game with something about a princess. Click, and now we're getting somewhere. Game title, Princess Astra's Quest. Storyline. The game starts with the kingdom in peril, okay, dark sorcerer, blah blah blah, solve puzzles, perfect. But then I noticed I didn't have a game yet. Where's the game? Then it went on to tell me how I could make the game. <laughs> no, make this game, let's go, chop chop for good measure. I can't directly create software or games. Great. So then I went to Google, reluctantly at first, and that's when I found Infinite Craft, a game that's like Doodle God, but it was made by AI. But first, hey, do you like games? Well, of course you do. That's why I want to introduce you to Humble Bundle. If you haven't heard of it, it's like a game store, but not like those ones where you just buy one game and then another game and then another game. This one specializes in bundles. It's like one big discount on a bunch of games and it updates all the time with new bundles to choose from, like this Mega Man one that you only have to pay $20 for, or this Capcom one that's only $20, and they're all playable through Steam. So check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Drag elements to craft. Okay, let's take some water. And then we'll take some fire. You can gotta put the fire. Okay, now we've got Steam. All right, cool. Put some water in the steam. And now we've got a cloud. Okay, put some water. Let's just keep putting some water. Go ahead, put some more water on it and... Now we've got more rain. All right, so now we got the tree, the plant. Okay, let's put the tree, put the forest, jungle. Okay, let's put jungle, forest. Let's put another jungle. Rainforest, okay. Rainforest on rainforest, and you get a jungle. Rainforest on jungle, you get... Okay, okay, let's put fire. Let's put Amazon on the fireplace. You get a, a candle. Wind. And earth. Dust, okay. Let's just keep adding earth. Planet. Wait, no, 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 put planet on, put planet. Star, okay, hold on, put another star. Galaxy, let's go, let's go. Black hole, let's go. Wormhole, another wormhole. Black hole, okay, hold on. Amazon. <laughs> oh man, I'm done. And then I found this one. AI Dungeon, a text-based adventure. Let's do this one. Start. Pick a setting. We'll do a uh, fantasy. Select a character. You are Legathan, a fairy living in the kingdom of Larian. You live in a fairy realm hidden under a grassy hill near the castle. Your skin is a light tinge of blue. Your wings sparkle. 
You notice a strange buzzing sound getting louder and louder as you peek from the hiding place. You see a group of human-sized bee-like creatures that, with glistening metallic bodies and iridescent wings flying toward the castle. They seem to be carrying some kind of weaponry and their intent looks far from friendly. Uh, take a turn. What do you do? Uh, attack. You launch yourself into the air, your tiny hands gripping a small dagger that you use for protection. You swoop down towards the nearest bee-like creature, aiming for a weak point in its armor. However, as you get closer, you realize just how big these creatures are compared to you. Attack. You take a deep breath and focus all your energy into the attack. You aim for the creature's eye and throw your dagger with all your might. The dagger soars through the air and hits the target, sinking into the creature's eye. The bee-like creature lets out a loud bud and falls to the ground, motionless. Emboldened by your success, you quickly fly towards another one of the bee-like creatures. This time, you decide to aim for its wings, hoping to disable it and prevent it from causing any further damage. You fly as fast as you can, dodging its wild swings and avoiding its stinger. You manage to dodge the creature's attacks and get close enough to strike. With a swift movement, you plunge your dagger into one of the creature's wings, slicing through the, the delicate membrane. The bee-like creature lets out a pain buzz and begins to flail about, unable to maintain its flight. What is going on here? You flit down to the injured creature and look at it with concern. I'm sorry, you say, feeling a pang of guilt for causing it pain. The bee-like creature looks up at you with its one good eye. <laughs> and you can see the pain and confusion angst in its face. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, let's be friends. You look at the injured bee-like creature and say, let's be friends. The creature seems surprised by your words, but after a moment, it nods its head slightly. You offer a small hand and it takes it with its mandible, allowing you to help it up. Then you say, psych, gotcha. You can't help but laugh as, laugh as you say, psych, gotcha. The bee-like creature's express changes, expression changes from confusion to anger. It, and it tries to swipe at you with this remaining wing. However, you're too quick and dodge its attack easily. Oh, this is just sad. Let's just run. Run away. Yeah, let's do that. You quickly dart away from the angry bee-like creature, your wings fluttering rapidly as you make your escape. You weave between the other creatures, dodging their attacks and avoiding their stingers as you go. Eventually, you make it back to the safety of your fairy realm, your heart pounding in your chest. All right. Continue. Oh, as you catch your, your breath, you can't help but feel a sense of pride for your bravery and quick thinking. You may be small, small, but you were able to take down not one but two of the bee-like creatures and even made a friend out of them. What? Continue. As you catch your breath, you notice the injured bee-like creature struggling to follow you. It seems you have realized that you were not being serious when you said psych gotcha, and now he's trying to make amends. Wait. Now he's trying to make amends. You feel a twinge of guilt for tricking him, but you can't help but be cautious. Continue. Aww, it was just getting good. Yeah.